Hello friends, welcome to Tumbala online classes. Today we shall start the problems based on normal distribution. In the last class we have discussed the concept of normal distribution and uh, standard normal distribution. Today we shall start the problems based on normal distribution. Here the problem number 112, 112, the two parameters of Normal distributions are mu equal to 10 and sigma equal to 5. Find the point of inflection of the curve. Find the point of inflection of the curve. Okay. The properties of normal distribution. One property is there. The point of inflection for a normal curve. The point of inflections are mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. The point of inflections are mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma. Here they are asking find the probability of inflection of the curve. Solution points of inflections are Okay, with the mean mu and standard deviation sigma. Okay, 
here is the mean mu here mu mean mu and conversion sigma give the value of probability of x is less than mu okay less than mu means okay it is also 0.5 less than mu okay this side okay here negative values okay here minus infinity to plus sir mu takes negative values and due to infinity takes positive values okay here due to minus infinity that is 0.5 here value is what 0.5 Here they are asking probability of x is less than mu is uh, 0.5. Suppose they are asking greater than mu is also 0.5. Okay. The so next problem number 122. Write the PMF of normal solution. Write the PMF of normal solution. 122. Write the PMF. PMF of normal solution. With me, with me, with me, three and standard deviation two. With me, three and standard deviation two. Okay, here first you have to write the PMF solution. What is the normal solution PMF? F of x equal to one by sigma into under root of Pi e to the power minus one by two x minus mu by sigma into whole square. For x takes the values minus infinity to infinity. It is a general PMF of a normal solution. Here we have to substitute the mean value and standard deviation value. Okay, here mean normal solution mean is mu and standard deviation is sigma. Then substitute the values. The power of x equal to One by sigma. Sigma value standard deviation value is two. That is two into under root of root two pi e to the power minus one by two x minus mu. Mean value is three. X minus three by sigma value is two. It is whole square. X lies between uh, minus infinity to plus infinity. It is the PMF of uh, fifth mean three and standard deviation two. That is above x equal to one by two into under root of root two pi. e to the power minus 1 by 2 x minus 3 by 2 is whole square where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity okay it is a 1 by 2 problem number 1 by 2 the next one problem number 1 2 3 consider the following pmf problem number 1 2 3 consider the following pmf of an arm rate f of x equal to f of x equal to one by three into under root of root two pi e to the power minus one by two x minus six by three whole square where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity find mean and variance find mean and Variance solution. Here they are given PMF that is f of x equal to one by three into under root of root two pi e to the power minus one by two x minus six divided by three whole square where x lies between minus six and infinity. Find mean and variance. Here mean is what that is mu. Here one by sigma into under root of root two pi e to the power minus one by two. X minus mu by sigma. X minus mu. Mu value is what six. Therefore, here mean is six. And sigma value is two three into under root of root two pi. Okay, that is sigma into under root of root two pi. Sigma value is what three. If you want variance, that is sigma square equal to three square is nine. Here mean is six and variance is nine. Okay, the next one twenty four. Problem number one twenty four. Same as it is, the solution of the variable x, variable x given by the law, f of x equal to pi into under root of root two pi e to the power minus one by two x minus hundred divided by pi into whole square. Find mean and standard deviation. Find mean and standard deviation. Same as it is here. Mu value is x minus mu over sigma. Mu value is 100, and uh, standard deviation is uh, 5. 5 into 100 sorry, sigma into 100 is 5. Sigma value is what 
here v value is something and sigma value is uh, 5 okay next one 125 problem number 125 write the pdf of normal solution write the pdf of normal solution with mean 55 and variance 4 125 write the pdf with mean with mean 55 given probability of that lies between minus 0 0.8 and plus 0 0.8 is 0 0.5762 0 0.5762 find 
point probability of z lies between 0 to 0 point is point probability of z lies between 0 to 0 point is okay see here it is a normal term that is minus infinity to infinity it is a zero minus 0 0.8 means here you have to mark minus 0 0.8 ok negative values takes 0 to minus infinity positive values 0 to infinity ok 0 0.8 on this side ok here they are given minus get as to minus 0 0.8 to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8 area is they are given area this area is 0 0.5762 and probability of minus 0 0.8 to 0 0.8 area is what? 0 0.5762 here we have to find probability of z lies between 0 to 0 0.8 okay, we want only this area 0 to 0 0.8 means half area means here solution probability of z lies between 0 to 0 0.8 is 1 by 2 of z lies between minus 0 0.8 to 0 0.8 that is 1 by 2 into area form uh, minus 0 0.8 to 0 0.8 is what? 0 0.5762 0 0.5762 0 0.5762 divided by 2 is 0 0.2881 0 0.2881 it is the probability of z lies between 0 to 0 0.8 half of the probability of z lies between minus 0 0.8 to 0 0.8 then we have to substitute the value that is 0 0.5762 divided by 2 then you get 0 0.2881 ok the next problem number 128 problem number 128 If the variance of normal solution is, if the variance of normal solution is six, oh, 9, variance means what? Sigma square. Sigma square value is 9. And sigma value is what? Under root of 9 is 3. Then find QD. Find QD. If uh, sigma square is 9, find QD. Solution, it is a 2 box solution. Very, very important. Apply the QD formula, QD equal to 2 by 3 sigma. Okay, for okay, it is a it is also one property of normal solution. For a normal solution, standard deviation is sigma, quartile deviation is 2 by 3 sigma, and mean deviation is 4 by 5 sigma. Apply the formula QD equal to 2 by 3 sigma and substitute the values 2 by 3 into sigma. Sigma value is what 3? 3 3 cancel, then we get the 2. Here, quarter deviation is a 2. It is a 2 marks question. Okay, the next one 129. Find QD and MD. Find QD and MD of a normal solution with mean 30. With mean u equal to 30. And sigma equal to 6. Find quarter deviation and mean deviation of a normal solution with the mean, okay, with mean mu equal to 30 and sigma equal to 6. This solution. First, you have to find QD. What is the formula QD equal to? 2 by 3 sigma. That is 2 by 3. Sigma value is what? 6. 3 1 the 3 2 the 2 2 the 4. Here, QD equal to next you have to apply md formula mean division what is the formula 4 by 5 into sigma 4 by 5 into sigma value is what 6 ok 24 by 5 6 for the 24 24 divided by 5 is 4.8 here mean division is 4.8 mean division is 4.8 ok here mean value is not necessary for calculating QD and MD. Okay, only we want the sigma value. Okay, the next problem number 
130 based from point for you only find the next problem number 131 In an hour solution, in a normal solution, in an hour solution, if Q1 is 20, if Q1 is 20, and Q3 is 15, and Q3 is 15. Find the 
then find then find mean of quarter deviation and then find mean quarter deviation and standard deviation 134 problem in a normal solution if q1 is 20 Q3 is 50. Then find mean and quarter deviation and standard deviation. Mean first you have to find mean. Mean equal to Q1 plus Q3 divided by 2. Okay, Q1 value is what? 20. Q3 value is 50 divided by 2. 20 plus 50 is 70. 70 divided by 2 is 35. That is the mean. Next part. Hai. Suppose if Q1 and Q3 values are given, then you have to apply. Quarter deviation. What is the quarter deviation? It is the half of the difference between upper and lower quarter. It is the half of the difference between upper and lower quarter. Suppose Q1 and Q3 values are given, then you then you have to apply Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. It is the half of the difference between upper and lower quarter. That is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. That is 50 minus 20 divided by 2. 50 minus 20 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 50. It is Q and and find and standard deviation. Find standard deviation. Yes, D. Okay. Find standard deviation. How to calculate? How to find standard deviation? You have to apply quarter deviation formula. Q T so Q D equal to two by three into sigma. Then substitute the Q D value. Q D value is fifteen equal to fifteen two by three into sigma. The next. Three fifteen is forty five. Forty five into two sigma. Therefore, sigma equal to forty five divided by two. That is twenty two point five. Standard deviation is what? Twenty two point five. Okay. The next problem number one thirty five. Problem number one thirty five. Value with the help of v and sigma. Okay, which property we have to apply? Yes, property number eighth or ninth. Here the quartiles are equidistant from median. Here the quartiles are equidistant from median. Are given by are given by q1 equal to are given by q1 equal to mu minus 0.6745 sigma q1 equal to mu minus 0.6745 sigma and q3 is mu plus 0.6745 sigma okay here to apply the the quartiles are equidistant from median the quartiles are equidistant okay here the q1 and q3 values are near to the Median that is Q2 value. They are given by and are given by Q1 equal to mu minus 0.6745 sigma and Q3 equal to mu plus 0.6745 sigma. Suppose if mu and sigma values are given, then you have to apply this formula Q1 and Q3. Here the substitute values mu value is what 15 minus 0.6745. Sigma value is what? And what is the answer? 
फिफ्टी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इन टू फोर इज फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री जीरो टू फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री जीरो टू इट इज अव वन एंड क्यू थ्री इक्वल टू फिफ्टी प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इन टू फोर ओके देन देन विल गेट फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन एट फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन एट इट इज अव थ्री वैल्यू इज फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन एट ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वन थर्टी सिक्स वन थर्टी सिक्स मीन एंड स्टैंडर्डिएशन ऑफ नॉर्मल सोल्यूशन आर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव मीन एंड स्टैंडर्डिएशन ऑफ नॉर्मल सोल्यूशन आर मीन वैल्यू इज और ट्वेल्व एंड स्टैंडर्डिएशन वैल्यू इज फाइव फाइन लोअर एंड अपर क्वार्टर लोअर मीन क्यू वन एंड अपर क्वार्टर इज क्यू थ्री हियर क्यू वन वैल्यू क्यू वन क्यू वन वैल्यू इज ट्वेल्व एंड दे आर गिवन डायरेक्टली सिग्मा स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज एंड सिग्मा स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज फाइव सॉरी सिग्मा वैल्यू इज फाइव प्लस फार्मूलास से क्यू वन इक्वल टू क्यू वन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन फोर फाइव सिग्मा एंड क्यू थ्री इक्वल टू म्यू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन फोर फाइव सिग्मा म्यू वैल्यू इज वॉट ट्वेल्व माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव सिग्मा वैल्यू इज वॉट फाइव ट्वेल्व माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इन टू सिग्मा वैल्यू इज फाइव दैन विल गेट द एट पॉइंट सिक्स टू द नेक्स्ट प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इंटू फाइव दैन विल गेट दिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री सेवन इट इज क्यू थ्री वैल्यू एंड इन थ्री वन वैल्यू सो फाइव लोअर एंड अपर क्वार्टर लोअर लोअर क्वार्टर इज क्यू वन एंड अपर क्वार्टर इज ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन थर्टी सेवन से हेयर सोल्यूशन इफ जेट इज अस एन वी इफ जेट इज अटैंडर्ड आई एंड प्रोबाबिलिटी ऑफ दैट इज ग्रेटर देन के इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव ओके फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के एंड देन हाउ टू फाइंड द के वैल्यू ओके हेयर K value can be used, can be calculated for, we can be calculated for normal table values with help of normal table values. Here K values can be calculated with the help of normal table values. Okay, see so here the table values are there. Page number one four twenty nine and four thirty. Here area under the normal curve from z to infinity. Okay, from z to infinity, z to infinity. Suppose z value is negative, that is z value is negative. Then we have to use this table. That is page number four thirty nine. The next page number four thirty. Area under the normal curve from z to infinity. Suppose z value is positive, then we have to use page number four thirty. Okay. Here we have to search zero point zero five. Okay, where it belongs to zero point zero five. See. Here, where it belongs to zero point zero five, it belongs to page number four thirteen. That is, see here zero point zero five belongs to. You have to search zero point zero four zero. The next zero point double four six and zero point four seven five, zero point four zero zero point zero four eight five, zero point zero four nine five, 
and I say 0 0.05, 0 0.5. Okay, here, here you have to choose it belongs to 0 0.0505 belongs to 1.64. 1.64, it belongs to 1.64. Here, k value is 1.64 from table values. From table value. K value is what? 1.64. Here K belongs to. See here 1.64. Here 0 0.05 belongs to 1.64. It belongs to 1.64. Okay. Next problem number 138. 138. If that is a SME. If that is a SME. And probability of that is that is greater than k is 0 0.1 find the value of k find the value of k find the value of k ok it is also same problem here if z is a SNV and the probability of z is greater than k is 0 0.1 find the value of k here solution Probability of z is greater than k is 0.1. You have to find k value here. k equal to okay. Here you have to search from table values where it 0 0.1 where the 0.1 belongs to. If it 0.1, then we have to search for 0.1, 0.02, 0.1. Here you have to See here. See here. No. See here. 0 0.1093. See here. 0 0.1003. Approximately it is 0 0.1. Okay. 0 0.1003 is there. See here. 0.1003. It belongs to 1.28. It belongs to 1.28. 0 0.1003 belongs to 1.28. Means. Therefore, k value is 1.28. k value is 1.28 from table value. From table value. You can read it from table value. Just what it? Okay. Here, where the 0 0.1 belongs to? Here, we have to search 0.1 in the table value. 0 0.1 belongs to here. 0 0.1 belongs to here that is 0 0.102, 1003. Now probability is 0 0.1, it belongs to 1.28. Suppose if probability of z is greater than k is 0 0.9959, 0 0.9959, with the power of 3, double 9, 5, 9. Find probability of z is greater than k is 0 0.9959. Okay, here page number 413, that is up to 0 0.5, it belongs to up to 0 0.5 okay 0 0.0013 to 0 0.5 okay the next 0 0.5 above it belongs to z to infinity that is page number 429 okay here you have to search 0 0.9959 9959 okay double nine five nine is see here that is it belongs to minus 2.64 here Z value is negative, minus 2.64, it belongs to, therefore, K value is minus 2.64, therefore, K value is minus 2.64, it is from a table values. Okay. In the next class, we shall continue the remaining problems based on a normal solution. Thank you.